right, so let's do a quick test. Um, I'm gonna just introduce you real quick. Um, so, so this is this is Robert Cron, and I'm currently at 9584 Fox Hill Road. Yeah, so, I, so Robert, what what year were you born? 1931. Interesting. Okay, and what, what town were you born in? Uh, Chictawaga. Chictawaga. Yeah. Okay. Really? Oh, yeah. I had a heart attack, and I got a defibrillator, and. Uh, I got uh, an aneurysm on my aorta, they took care of the old way, my gallbladder they took out all the old way, I had a burst appendix. Uh, oh. uh, yeah. was, it, was this all recent or? Well, through the years, yeah. Oh, through the, okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, so, so Robert, I'm here again today. Um, my hope is that um, our family ancestry and our history uh, there's a lot of um, missing pieces, so to say, and it sounds like you have a lot of legacy knowledge with some of the folks uh, in our family who used to reside here on Fox Hill Road. Um, specifically, uh, Francis uh, Hoagland um, was together with a gentleman named Carl Romer. Do you recall Carl Romer? Uh, yes, and both of them. Both your uh, grandmother and and uh, Carl. Uh, I did not know him real well because I was in the army, and uh, when I was home on leave and so on and so forth, way my mother and father lived right down the road, and uh, I got to know Carl, uh, but not real well. Okay. But I know of him, and I know your grandmother, and. Uh, Francis, right? Francis. Okay. And uh, she uh, used to work in a hotel down in Houghton. Now, she, uh, whether she was a cook or managed the place, I don't know. Okay. Now, this would be sometime in the early 60s. Okay. Uh, I was stationed down the Horsehead, so I get up here quite often at the time between 63 and 65. So I got to see him so on and so forth. And then and, uh, I had to go to Vietnam and I was over there in 67, 68. And when I retired, way, uh, Carl was already dead and uh, I don't know where your grandmother went to. Do you recall which year Carl passed away? <coughs> no, I would say I would say somewhere is around 60, 64, but I, I could not swear to it. Okay, uh, and what, what did Carl do? What, what was his profession? I don't know. He was, all I know is he lived up in your area, Cleveland Hill area. Chictawaga? Yes. Okay. Either there or Amherst, you know, they're right close together, so. Okay. <clears throat> but he had grown boys because they used to come out here hunting. But I never got to meet him. Is the farmhouse that Carl stayed at, is that what he used for his hunting house? Well, it was a permanent residence as far as I know. It was? Yeah. You know? Okay. And do you, do you know how many years he owned it for? I know. I don't. Uh, all I know is uh, that... Uh, Years ago, there used to be a, a fellow named a Cole, I think he was. Okay. And that was by before my time. Uh, after he sold this, he sold it to two doctors, as far as I know. I don't know whether it was after he died and the boys sold it or whether he sold it to two doctors. One was Dr. Sauer from Buffalo, and I forget what the other doctor's name is, but he's right up again in Amherst. Was there a school principal? Was anybody a school principal? Does that ring a bell or no? Not that I know of, no. Okay. So, uh, do, do you recall ever meeting Francis? Have you ever actually spoke to Francis? Oh, or? yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. And um, did Francis, um, what, do you, what do you remember?
remember of Frances? Oh God, it's, it's, it's hard to say. I, I remember her, she was fairly a thin woman, as I recall. And, uh, she was thin? Yes. Okay. But uh, otherwise, well, it's, it's, I didn't know her that well. See, that's the problem. Now, okay. If I was saw her you know, every day or something like that, it would be different. But I only went, uh, as I say, I was only here a certain amount of time while they were okay. here. Now, I wish my mother and dad were alive because they could tell you more. Okay. But, uh, did, um, did Francis uh, keep living in the house after Carl passed away? I do not know. I don't think so. Okay. But uh, I can't tell you. And in fact, I don't even know whose name it was in. Any chance that Francis would have mentioned her mom, Alice? No. No, no, no. no recollection of Alice? Never talked to anything about family. Okay. Okay. No. And so what, did you, uh, did you take part in the, the demolition of the house? No. Uh, this went through several different owners. Okay. And once again, these people that own it, I can't recall their names, but they were also from up in the Amherst area. They put an old trailer in, which it still sits there. Okay. Okay. And they told the hunters that they can use the trailer. Now, these are just hunters that had no relation or anything. And they kept going in the house and using the house. Uh, and they didn't want to do that because of possible injuries or so on and so forth. The stairs was getting bad upstairs and so on and so forth. So they had it burnt. Oh, interesting. Kennedy Town uh, Fire Department burnt the building. For like a practice? Yes. It's like of exercise. Yes. Okay. And then... Uh, who, who filled it in? Was some, did somebody fill it in? I did. You did? Yes, okay. Because later on, my sister-in-law's brother from Texas bought the property uh, off this, uh, I believe it was the doctor that he bought it from. No, I take that back. He bought it from the dead fellow from uh, Amherst that, that uh, originally had it and then burned it down. So he was from Texas and he was up here and uh, he bought the property off of them. And uh, then he moved another trailer in. And uh, I leveled it off and filled it in and so on and so forth. And then when he died, well, he left it to his niece, which is also my niece. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. So your niece currently is on the property. Yes. Lives on the property. Yeah. And what is your niece's name? Uh, Patty Patricia Patton. Her and her husband and daughter live there. Okay. Okay. Um, so with relation to, like, what was the address of, of their property right now? Do you, do you recall? Their address? 9546 or 4-3 Fox Hill Road. So did the the old farmhouse that was burnt down, did that have the same number, house number associated with it? No. It no, didn't? It didn't have house numbers. It didn't have a house number? No. Really? No. Nope. We had no house numbers until uh, recently. It used to be boxes. We were on Route 1, but what the box number, I don't know. Mine was 20, 24B, my dad's is 24A, so that might have been 24 or 23, I don't know. Okay, so there was no address no, associated with no. it. And uh, was there any electric run to the house? or? Electric? Yeah, they came through with electric. Before my time, they come through with electric here in 1947. Okay. As far as I know. Okay. That, um, that was two water. years before my folks bought the place. Uh, what about water? Did they have water there? Uh, they had a well. They had a well. Yeah. Okay. And a small septic. 
Um, so anything else with Carl Romer that um, you, you mentioned he was a uh, relationship in Chittawaga? Uh, yeah, as far as I know, yeah, up in Cleveland Drive area. That's what I understand. Okay. And Frank, did Francis live there with him in Chittawaga? I don't think so. I really don't know, though, for certain. No. Now, as far as I know, afterwards, she moved back to Chittawaga, and she lives <coughs> off of Genesee Street between Union Road and Harlem Road. Between Union and Harlem. Yeah. There's a... Uh, there's not too many side streets going in there. Now, there's a fellow that lives there that we know, and his name is Paul Streisick, but I don't have the spelling for Streisick. Strausick, they call him, I think. Okay. But uh, he lived there for quite some time, so he might, I might be on the same road, I don't know. But uh, he was there a long time, so he probably might have known, known her. So the thing is, why <coughs> I'm going to call my nephew here and get the proper spelling of that, and you can look it up in the phone book. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, here, let me just, we'll pause. Uh, he he uh, used to be friends with his Paul Strasley. Your brother Jim was friends with Paul? Yeah. Okay. Well, in fact, he was friends with the whole family. At one time, some of the family rented an apartment, and there was a whole bunch of kids. Oh, interesting. In Chittawaga? Yeah, no, this is uh, uh, Akron. Akron? Yeah. Wow, okay. So, anyways, why, uh, my brother Jim did some carpenter work and everything for Paul, and he lives, I don't know what address to say but he lives between Union and Harlem. And Jim, uh, we were talking one time, and and uh, he said that he saw Fran, and she was selling Christmas trees either on that road or close to it. So right on Genesee, probably. Yeah, Genesee, but the road runs off of it. Okay, so maybe like beach, there's a road called... <coughs> yeah, but no, like, yeah, beach is going to the right, though. This is all to, uh, to the uh, south. To the south, okay. Yeah. So, Tyranda is to the right, and there is one road coming out from Tyranda, though. But uh, yeah, I think it's closer to Harlem Road than it would be to Union Road. Okay. So there, there, there's a couple side streets there with some old Cape style homes in there. Yeah, there's a multitude of things. It's I think Fern is it Fern something Fern uh, Ferndale. One of them. Is, oh uh, God, you got me. Okay. Because I don't know any of them. Okay. Um, and then so was did Carl did Carl take part in any of the Christmas tree selling or was that just Fran? Oh no no this was after he died. After he died? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So she must have moved back to Chief Duaga for a period of that's, time. That's why I say, yeah. Uh, now the town hall, if she lived there, why Chief Duaga town hall there, and uh, that's over on Broadway in Union. Yep. Yep. Maybe they've got some records. Yep. Or, okay. Okay. Very interesting. But whether she went to a church or anything like that, I, I wouldn't have no idea. <coughs> so, um, what year did you actually depart for the, the service? 1948. 1948? Yeah. Is that, that's when you started your basic training? or? Yeah. And then, where did you do basic training at? Uh, Fort Dix. Fort Dix? Dix. Okay. New Jersey. Okay. And then from there, I after basic, I went to a leadership school, and then from there, I went to, uh, directly to Eleventh Airborne in Japan, and I went to jump school over in Japan, and that was in uh, I graduated in December, December forty eight, and then we stayed over in Japan, and the Seventh Division came back from Korea. This is before the Korean War, and they relieved us. And we come down to Fort Campbell, and 
and then when the Korean War broke out, well, they sent uh, one rook. There we go. Yes. Okay, go slow. S T. S T. Ho 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 ho. S T R Z. E L. C Z. Y K. Well, I thought you were a little smarter than that, but <laughs> you coming out? You're coming out tonight, are you? An accident hit his head and, and it worked there, and he's had a concussion and he's all screwed up. And he's taking care of his mother now, and uh, brother Jim. <laughs> they had a. a, a <laughs> their son good God almighty he's, he's uh, what the hell do they call that there's a lot of kids like that but anyways like this Charlie he's been coming out and doing stuff for his mother and taking her around and getting things squared away and with the liars and all that sort of stuff but he he's in pretty bad shape oh is he really yeah now he lives out in Blackboard. Oh, that's where he's in. Wow, okay. Yep. What's your relationship to him? Uh, he's my uh, nephew. Nephew? Yeah, Jim's boy. Ah, okay. So, so now he's taking over and <coughs> helping her out. Um, is, let's see, nephew. So Jim would be your brother. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And he lives next door where your dad used to live, right? No, that's my younger brother. Younger brother. Yeah, and then okay. Jim is in the next place. Okay, so there's two yeah. properties in a row. Yeah. Here. Okay. Almost across from. And then where your grandmother was. Patricia uh, is on the property where the farmhouse used to be. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then is, did Patricia get married? And yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's married to uh, Denny Patton. He's from Wellsville. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Now, I don't know whether I should give you this lady's number or not, <laughs> but uh, there's a Nancy Crane. Okay. And I was thinking of who would be around, and I don't even know whether she was around in Houghton when your grandmother was in that uh, uh, hotel. And she just worked in the hotel. She didn't actually live there, right? No, no, just worked there. Just no, worked I don't there. know what she did, whether she was cook or whether she ran the place or not, to be very truthful with you. Okay, okay. But, uh, and Nancy Crane, what, what is what is her relationship to Francis? Uh, none at all. I don't even know whether she knows her. But I was trying to think of somebody from Houghton and the older people that, uh, that would have known her. And uh, I used to work out in Houghton too, but uh, uh, everybody I know are dead now. Any the older people, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Any chance that um, you remember the name of the restaurant? No, it was just the uh, Houghton Houghton Inn, I think. Houghton Inn. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure though. But they tore that down too. So that's since been torn down. Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, all right, well, I, I guess I, I mean, that, that's a, that's some great information, Bob, and, um, I Now, as I say, this Paul Strazik, he might not know her at all, you know what I mean, but I'm just speculating, he's been there a long time, so possibly he did know her. And he's still living in, um, off of Genesee there? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's why I say. Hello. Yes, it is. Uh, pretty good. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. So it was like October.
October, I think we, we drove out here. Um, yeah, we were just randomly, we were just randomly trying to find information. So the, the house that you filled in with your, your tractor, uh, the foundation? Well, uh, my dozer and my backhoe. Okay. Um, is there anything left that you can still see of it? Nope. Did, is there woods over it right now? or uh, lawn. Just the lawn? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what I did is I took a lot of the stones out. It was a stone cellar and it wasn't very deep. But uh, those are the head busters like in, in this one here, see? Okay. And uh, then I filled it in with uh, whatever was around rocks, stones, and everything, and then the dirt. And so it's there's no woods there, it's just nope. grass right now? Yep, yep. You wouldn't be able to tell where the house was. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, uh, there was an old barn back there too, but that was falling in, so I tore that down too. There was nothing, just one wall sticking up there. Okay, okay. Then actually, I think my dad and my aunt mentioned they used to play back there all the time. When they were kids, they yeah. they came up here when they were uh, very young, like 10 or 12. Yeah. And so they, they used to go and see Francis, yeah. which was their, uh, their grandma. And uh, and at the time, you know, Carl Romer was was still alive. Yeah. But it sounds like Carl passed away around 1960. I I would think so. I I, I wouldn't swear to it because they say I was gone. And so how, how often did they let you come home on leave from the uh, from the war? Oh, it varies. It varies. Like uh, when you're in in Korea, there, why? Well, I, I had two tours in '50 and '51. I went back and volunteered the second time. But that was uh, 13 months, and uh, you got so many points, three months, uh, if you're up on the line, there was three points per month, so you needed 36 points in order to get out of there. So if you was on the line, let's say, uh, eight months, and then you went to the rear, then you'd lose that one point for not being up there, and you'd get two points for being there. Ah, I see, okay. So okay. that's the way it works. So there was incentives to, to be there. But. Yeah, yeah, in, in Vietnam, Vietnam, it was uh, 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 13 months. Wow. Yeah. And when, when did Vietnam officially end? Oh, uh, it never did. There's still, there's still, uh, like Korea, Korea never ended yet. So it's technically still... In technically, the it's still war on, yes. Wow. But uh, uh, they're supposed to get together and start working and all that sort of stuff. And, but all it was, they called it a police action at the time. <laughs> but just about every country in the world was in Korea. Wow. Interesting. Yep. And they all... Uh, they didn't have very many people, but you know, there was the English there, there was Canadians and Irish and everything. So when you came home on leave, um, were you staying just at your, was now your, your younger brother's house? Uh, sometimes, yes. Okay. Sometimes I'd stay here. Okay. <laughs> but this didn't have, well, it had one light bulb. And uh, when they, uh, that changed everything around. There used to be a door going out here and a window on each side. And uh, there was a front door coming in the living room. And uh, I got pictures of the old house. Yep. Any chance you would have pictures of Francis' nope. house? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I don't. Okay. Does the town uh, keep any records uh, of that type of thing? Like which, what village is this? Is this? Uh, this is in, uh, actually, we mail-in address is Fillmore, but we're in the town of Canadia. So who would have the house, like when you, do you have to pull permits when you do work here to the house? <sighs> yeah, probably back then, no. No, okay. Who would you, if you had to today, who would you apply with the permit through? Well, that'd be down to uh, Town Hall in Canadia. Town Hall, Canadia? Yeah, that's in, uh, Route 19. Yeah, it's right down in Kennedy out here. Okay, okay. So maybe it's, it could be a long shot, but maybe they would have some information on uh, yeah, the farmhouse. It, well, not only that, but 
mean, you could check with uh, uh, Belmont, for example. That's where we pay our taxes. Belmont? Yeah. Belmont is uh, is our, our county seat, and all this uh, you pay your house taxes and everything. And that goes to uh, Belmont. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Now Belmont is they got all the records. They they probably if you wanted to you could look it up and, and find out that. Uh, is Belmont a town nearby here? Yeah, it's about. Uh, Roughly 17 miles to the south. Okay, and they have all the, the records? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, they get the regular. Okay. Yeah. Don't take any guns with you, no knives, no nothing. <laughs> they don't like that stuff? Oh, well, they got the sheriffs. When you go in there, they, you got to go through the. Yeah, but they have all the records down there. Now, see, this was the Canada Indian Reservation. Okay. Okay. Uh, Just trying to think now. That'd be 70, 71, 72, I was 73. Okay. That would be probably lot 74 of the Canadia Indian Reservation. That was France House. Yes. Lot 74 yeah. of the Canadia Indian, Indian Reservation. Reservation. Right. Okay. Because mine is 73 and. Uh, my neighbors are at 72, so. Okay. So they're going that way. I see. So this is technically an Indian reservation. For yes, a, yes. And when, when did that change? Oh, back in the 1800s, that's all I know. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. It was Fran's house built before then, do you think? Mm, I doubt it, no. Okay. Because this is uh, this house here, I think, was 1850. So maybe Fran's was built around the same, same time? Uh, I, okay. I would think so, yeah. So I wonder why it, they neglected it and let it just... Well, it was getting bad. So Carl Romer owned it, right? Yeah, and it was, it was livable then. But after he sold it to the doctors there, they used it as a summer home or hunting and so on and so forth. So consequently, you don't keep fires in these old houses. They go to heck uh, real fast. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> As I say, they didn't trust the stairs or anything. Oh, the so other stairs that bought it, yeah. Okay. So that's why they didn't want the hunters in there, and uh, the hunters couldn't use it, but they said no, so they just burned it down. Yeah, understood. Okay. And so, locationally, looking at your looking at Patty's home, is it right where the driveway is? Uh, yeah. It uh, at that time it sat fairly close to the road. Be to to the left of the driveway. Left of the driveway. Yeah. Okay. To the south. So looking at her house, it'd be to the. She's on the other side of the road, right? Yeah. Okay. And what was her? She's ninety-five, forty-six. Uh, no, forty-three. Ninety-five, forty-three. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then my Jim's is ninety-five, forty-six, and George is ninety-five, sixty-four, and I'm ninety-five. Something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm way up. 95, 84. 84. Yeah, yeah, okay. 84, uh, so yeah, 84 I'm, 64, 46, yeah. 43. Well, when they started, a fellow from downtown, uh, I can't think of his name right now, my name's Slip, but he was in charge of um, putting these fire steins up. See, they never. They never did uh, have uh, numbers and everything. They had box one and so on and so forth. So we'd have to read the uh, uh, mailbox in case of a fire. Oh, okay. So he okay. he got the job of all, I don't know whether it was the whole county. He might have been the whole county. He was fire director or something. And the reason these jumped so fast is for example, as I say, my brother's is nine five six four. Okay. Okay. Well, a hundred and two hundred feet down the road, I'm nine five eight four. Okay. They figured that in a 
at any time now, you could sell land, and there'd be two houses in between. Ah, uh, okay. They all start from the south and run to the north, all your numbers. Okay. And there's a big number, for example, between mine and my neighbors. Okay. I don't know what his is, but it's probably in thousand something or two thousand. Okay. And they allowed for so much land, figured, you know, that people could build. And that would be the same numbers. Got it. Okay. But he did a he did a fine job. Interesting. Yep. Okay. And they did that till roughly ten years ago or more. Wow. Okay. So the numbers are relatively new. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Now there's one other thing too. It doesn't matter, but uh, my property runs right into where rumors was. Okay. Uh, and we're in the Fillmore School District. My niece is is a start of Belfast. Oh, your niece is actually in Belfast. Well, the, the school district. Okay. School district still Fillmore. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of it, it, it's complicated. Like for example, she's in uh, uh, Belfast School District. Okay. Okay. Her mailing address is actually Fillmore, but she's in the town of Canadia, like me. <laughs> wow. Okay. So that's why it's confusing. That's where these signs come in. Okay. So now. If you have an emergency way, we get these towers and everything in Fillmore or Allegheny County now. So, gotcha. Yep. Okay. Yep. Wow. So it's a little convoluted, but yeah. Yeah. It's, yep. Okay. Well, it's the same thing. For example, you're in Erie County, but uh, you're in the town of Amherst, and uh, across the road there, it's uh, Buffalo or Clarence, and so, so technically. So Fran's farmhouse was Belfast School District. Yes. And it was the uh, Fillmore address, Fillmore yep. mailing address, yep. but it was the town of Canada, 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 Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yep. Wow, that's, yeah, that's a little... <laughs> and I don't understand it because Canada had a post office also. I don't think they have one now, but they just have one. But uh, everything when I started, I think, was film more. So okay, that's gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so I I guess that's all the questions I've got, Robert. Um, well, as I say, I hope I hope maybe Paul knows uh, at least knows about. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, I remember her asked so and so, so maybe you can give information. But if not, as I say, Chicktawaga Town uh, building there, uh, they improved that too, by the way. Boy, oh boy, when I was a kid there, I, <coughs> I wasn't very big. Chicktawaga is really full Oh, up. God, yes. I mean, yeah. there, you can't even build there yeah. anymore. It's so yeah. packed. Well, as I say, I don't know whether you're familiar with Maryville there, but uh, well, you are. We, we lived on uh, um, Fairvale. Yeah, which is just off of Clearvale. Yeah, but that's that's uh, between uh, Maryville and Genesee, right? Yeah, that was actually so we were right off of Union. Yeah, uh, just across. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Okay, that was nothing there. There was only one, one, two houses from Maryville to Genesee on Union Road. There was two houses. One when the, you go up the hill before. Before the expressway, that was Capperman's, and then there's a house that sets way back in, and that was uh, Gangles. And you owned a house on Maryville, yeah, right? First. It was it was the only house on the street at the time. Yep, yep. Now my dad built that in uh, 1932. And what, what what happened with that house? Did, did that house? Well, they stayed there until uh, the family moved out. We had uh, five kids, and then uh, after some of them left, <coughs> they built that little log cabin right next to it. Okay. It's still there, the log cabin and that. And then there's a brick house next to that, and then the school. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
we were the first ones there, as I say. My other brother, uh, the brick house, he didn't build that until he got married, I think, in 47 or something like that, 48. But uh, the next ones uh, was the Munches, and they built between us and Union Road. And then there's another brick house just the other side of the uh, uh, driveway for the school, and that was the next house. Yeah. So it started building up during World War Two. And what happened? Your, your house got hit by a, a plane? Well, yeah. They, they, my dad had a, a piece of tin coming out of the chimney for better ventilation, <coughs> and and uh, it was uh, the, the pilot bailed out, and the plane come down, and it just hit that tin, and went across, probably in Fairview, there there. Was it flying towards the airport or flying away from the airport? No, it was. It was actually. Yeah, I, they were trying to get back to the airport. Okay, but, so. But when he went, it tore it before Maryville and Genesee. It landed in that field there. That there should be a greenhouse. If you lived on Fairview, there's a greenhouse right there. I'm sure it's still there. Okay. Um, so it was flying. Okay, so looking at your house, it was flying right to left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it, yeah, it would have. It was been going from north to south, in other words. North to south. Yeah. Oh, okay. And if it was okay. flying to the airport, it would be going to the east. East and way up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <coughs> now I remember. Um, don't quote me on the year. It was during the war. Another plane. I think that was a P-40 also. He parachuted out somewhere around where you live, on that side of the river. That plane went out and it went right down in the paint shed in uh, Curtis Wright. I, I remember hearing about that. Yeah, that was during, uh, I would say, somewhere around 43. That, hit, that actually hit the factory, right? Yeah, that went right on down and uh, it went right into the uh, paint department and of course with the paint and everything else they had explosions and so on and so forth. A lot of people got killed. And I he, I don't know how many got killed but ironically we had people from Fillmore which I didn't know at the time uh, because I was too young but they drove in from Fillmore to go to work there. At Curtis Wright? Yeah. You're kidding. Yep, they used to drive in every day. And Bev Taylor, which I worked for after I retired, and uh, Jaeger, his name was not Chuck Jaeger, <laughs> but <laughs> Jaeger, they rode in with him, okay? Well, Jaeger got in the, uh, uh, he was injured. So all these guys were trying to get home, and of course, uh, they, they, they went through all the stuff that they had from these injured people looking for keys to the vehicle and that, and they couldn't find them, so they jumped the vehicle. The old vehicles, you know, they jumped them. Yep, yep. That's how they got home. Yep. Wow. But uh, Jaeger, Jaeger lived down. He, he was burnt, and uh, he was a little disfigured, but not not that bad. And that course, was from the P-40 crash? Yep. Okay. Yep. Jeez. Wow. And when I was a kid now, uh, 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 they used to uh, have races, uh, airplane races out there. And uh, they just flew around and they, uh, somewhere around a hypothetical Main Street uh, in Williamsville and around, you know. And they had these races, airplane races. Airplane races? Yep. Now wow. this was before the war. Wow. Very yep. interesting. Okay. Yep. So that that P forty that clipped your your chimney that would have crashed pretty close to Genesee Street then. Right? Yeah, yeah, between Maryville and Genesee. Okay. okay. Yeah. And as I say, there's a there's a large, very large greenhouse in that area. There used to be from that old house, Capperman's. There used to be a, a gravel driveway coming all the way down to that, but. I could see from our house, I could see over the Genesee because my uncle one time, I was working for him 
when I was a little kid and he had a nursery and I called the his, his mother owned a grocery store it's still there Smith in Genesee and his name was Smith oh and, so that's still there yeah <laughs> yeah okay and uh, and uh, I called over there to see whether he was there yet and she said, no, not yet. And I said, oh, there he is now. I saw him pull up. And I run right, shit, it wasn't that far, you know, run from our place right over to Genesee. Ah, okay, okay. You know, I used to, uh, I went to a Catholic school there. What school was it? Uh, Our Lady Help of Christians. Oh, ah, okay. Uh, Where, what street was it on? That's on Union Road, in Genesee. Okay, okay, yep, I know where it's yep. at. Well, there used to be a school there. They got the new church and everything. Okay. But uh, ironically, a distant relative of mine started that church. I got the history and everything. His name was Bot. And uh, they came over in a small ship, and uh, they were in a storm. And he promised if he got there safe that he would build a church, and that's what he did. <coughs> no so, kidding. Yep, he started that. And okay. They called it the chapel. The chapel? That's where they started, a small one. Wow. And they still still call it the chapel sometimes. But, uh, yeah, I had, uh, that's where I went to school for eight years, and then I started in Pine Hill High, and I didn't do very well there. I was uh, 15 years old. My brother came home from World War II. And he went to work for Niederprune Contractors in Buffalo. And he started off as a truck driver. And uh, I used to help him on the truck. And uh, up in Buffalo, I can still remember the roads. Smith, uh, Smith Street, and come in at a point. They had a grocery store, if you can visualize, grocery store by myself. Well, they hired three of us kids to help the carpenters, and we tore off three quarters of that store. Wow. Okay? Okay. And when the rear part of it, they turned into a gas station. And where we tore off the building, they put the pumps in. And then the road come together, and they could drive right in from either way. Ah, I see. So, okay. So, after it was all over, why they wanted to keep one kid for digging trenches and all that sort of stuff. So Howard needed for him. He kept me. And I think that's because my brother worked there too. <coughs> but uh, So you were a good worker then? Well, that's what they said. Yeah, and I still remember two guys too. Bob Dunn and George Taylor. They were the carpenters. Wow. So anyways, way uh, Howard Niederprom means, oh, uh, do you think you can come in Friday? Yeah, I skip school and come in and work. Nice. <laughs> do, you, do you think you can come in Monday and Tuesday? Yeah. <laughs> so the first year, in, first year in high school, I got uh, uh, one uh, credit and a quarter. I passed gym and shop. <laughs> so you, uh, you, your career started early. Yeah, so then I went to work for them full time and uh, I worked from them when I was 16 to uh, 17 and then I went in the army. Oh, good for you. So you got a nice jump start in life. Yeah. And then Strazik. So yeah. he's still there. On, he's technically still living on Genesee then? Yeah. No, off of Genesee. Or off of Genesee? Yeah, yeah, right on the corner almost. Okay. Don't go on. I only was there with my brother Jim one time. Okay. But that's all I can tell you. And I hope he could help you out. Right. But as I say, uh, Belmont, they should have all the information on uh, uh, Lot 74, okay. Indian Reservation. Great. And they could tell you right, right from the oldest to the newest. Robert, any words of wisdom you want to leave for uh, generations to come? Yes, keep a good record. Keep a good record. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Well, Robert, thanks again for your time. Yeah, I'm sure. going gonna, gonna to stop videoing now. Oh, okay.